first of all, how was practice after taking 11 or 12 days off? Oh, um, it's good. Um, you got to get back in the flow as a team and um, just really get back into it and just come out tomorrow. Well, Thursday with a better day. As far as uh, uh, defensive line and, and you personally, how do you think the spring is going so far for you? Um, spring is going good. Um, I still got to clean up some fundamentals and things that we're going to fix Thursday and everything when we get back on the field and just take coaching better and everybody just get together and just come as one unit like we did last year. What's it been like not having Carl and Mon um, it's, it's still the same, you know, but you can see that we're missing two big players. But um, we got guys now that are filling in our spots and they're doing a pretty good job at it. And as um, long as they keep building and keep getting better, we're going to have a perfect team next year. What's it like? I mean, you're a true sophomore, but you're, you're one of the more experienced guys out there. What's that feel like to be maybe in a leadership role, even though you've only been here for a year? Oh, yeah, it's tough, man, because now everybody sees what you can do. And everybody looking for that, like every play. And everybody looking for Marlon to make the play and everything. And you just take that up on, like, you're one of the uh, impact players, like our coach was telling us today, to become an impact player. And um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take on that role. But um, it's kind of hard, you know, because you really don't know too much about it. But right now, I'm just trying to sit back and let my fellow seniors take control of the role now. Marlon, when did it feel normal for you, you know, be a starter as a freshman and just kind of going through that routine? When did it start to get routine for you? Shoot, it never did. You know, being out there with great guys and playing football with Montrevis and Carl Lawson, first-round draft picks, you know, it, it's never, it never just get to me like, I don't made it, you know. I want to get where they're at. What did you see out of uh, McNick just got back out there, but him and Paul James and, and even Trey Thread, what did you see out of those guys? Impressive, man. They actually balling. And um, I see as in Paul, man, he come off a knee injury and he's fighting. You know, that make me want to fight. That make me want to be beside him and help him when he down. Or uh, with Nick Cole, with all the things that been happening to him, you know, just coming in behind him and just playing like we never lost a beat and just having fun. How does Byron look like on the inside, him moving to tackle? How does he, how does he look on the inside? A different Byron. <laughs> That's all I can say, he's a different Byron. And um, Byron has come a long way, and every day he has taken a step forward every day. And he always said, come on, baby, we got it, baby. He got that swag about him now, and he's looking great. What's been the difference for him moving inside? You know, just like playing on the ends, a transition. You know, uh, how to take on blocks, how to do this, learning plays. It's just different things, man. It's nothing that no no player can uh, just can't achieve. Um, yeah, it's it's a point where every team, not every team, but every player have got down on themselves. I even got down on myself, you know. But it's just about how you respond the next play, how you respond the next day, the next practice, and just taking advantage of it. Uh, plenty of times, man, during the week, during games. You know, but my coach said, man, suck it up, man. You got to play ball. That's how I did. Carl, I think it'll be natural for people to point to you and Derek Brown as the next Carl Lawson and Montreus Adams. Do you guys kind of feel that way, that, that you can kind of take that torch? Um, as of now, no, because we're still improving. You know, we can't get there yet. You know, they have four years over us. We only got one in the books. So we just got to take it as today and try to work towards that in the future. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen a defensive lineman like you chase down plays from behind like you did last year. Uh, what what makes you so good at that? Why, why does it just come in your head? Why are you better at that than anybody else? I just, my mindset, man, I feel like I can catch anybody. I feel like I can go run on a, a, a leopard or anything. You know, I, I might not do it, but that's my that's my attitude about it. Has it always been like that for you? Yes, man. I had that go-getter attitude, never to stop. You know, should until I lose breath. And that's probably never. So, what have you, what have you seen out of Dante? I mean, he's he's the, the veteran out there. Yeah. What have you seen out of him this spring? Leader. He actually he leading me. You know, I I mess up a lot. <laughs> I'm still a freshman too. You know, still new to the game. But shoot, sure, he's actually helping me out with my job because he did play it before. You know, playing in um, I think his sophomore year. So he actually taking on a big role too with me and having me progress to be a better end than I was last year. A lot of people kind of overlook him. What do you, what do you think about him as a player? What do you think about He's him? He's a team player. He don't, he don't have to make plays. 
you know, he's right there at the right spot. He might not make it, but, hey, he did his job. As long as everybody, all 11 guys on defense do their job, it's going to be a successful defense.